Hello, welcome to another video on distance time graphs. And in this video, we're going to be focusing on calculating the speed traveled at different stages of the journey. So this graph here represents the journey that someone's taken. They've left home here at 1.30. They've traveled 10 kilometers and then they've stopped for a period of time. Then they've traveled another eight kilometers to take them to 18 kilometers from home. They've had another rest and then they've come back again and they've, they're back home at seven o'clock in the evening. And our job is to calculate the speed that they've traveled at different stages of the journey. So let's start with this stage here, stage A. Now we know to calculate the speed that someone's traveled, it's the total distance they've traveled per unit of time. So how far they've traveled divided by how long it's taken them. So it's the distance divided by the time. So what is the distance they've traveled during this first section of the journey? Well, they've gone from zero kilometers and they've stopped here, which is 10 kilometers. So the total distance is 10 kilometers. And now what is the total time it's taken them to travel that 10 kilometers? Well, they started at 1.30 and they got to that resting stop at 2.30. So the distance is one hour. So our speed is gonna be 10 kilometers per one hour. So 10 divided by one, that's just 10. So it's 10 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's look at part B now. So they've gone from 10 kilometers to 18 kilometers. So this total distance that they've traveled is eight kilometers. And how long has it taken them to travel that eight kilometers? Well, we left at 3 p.m. and we arrived at 4 p.m. So again, this is a time of one hour. So the speed is eight kilometers per one hour, which is just eight kilometers per hour. Now let's look at part C. So first of all, let's calculate the distance. Well, we're starting at 18 kilometers and we're finishing at 18 kilometers. We haven't traveled any distance. The distance is zero and we are obviously stopped at this point, we're just resting. So the distance is zero. And what is the time? Well, this is 4 p.m. and this is 5 p.m. So we have rested for one hour. And you're probably thinking, well, it doesn't matter how long we rest for. Zero divided by anything is always zero. So our speed is zero kilometers per hour. We haven't traveled any distance, so you probably didn't even need to work this out. You can see that we are stationary. The speed is zero. And let's finish off with part D of the journey. So what is the distance we've traveled? Well, we've started part D of the journey 18 kilometers from home, and we're coming all the way home. So we are traveling 18 kilometers. And how long has it taken to travel those 18 kilometers? Well, we started this part at 5 p.m. and we got home at 7 p.m. so this is a total of two hours. So our speed is 18 kilometers per two hours. 18 divided by two is nine so this is nine kilometers per hour and that is our speed for the last part of the journey. And you may be thinking well why isn't it negative? Negative nine because we are coming backwards and our gradient is, is a negative slope so why isn't this speed negative? And the reason for that is because speed is always positive. You cannot have a negative speed. Even though we're traveling in a different direction, we're coming back home, the speed is still positive. If we were talking about velocity, then yes, it would be negative. So the velocity would be negative nine kilometers per hour. But because we're dealing with speed, speed is always positive. Okay, so I'm gonna do another couple of examples on calculating the speed at different parts of the journey, but I encourage you to pause the video and have a go at calculating these yourself first. Okay, so first of all, let's look at part A of the journey. So we know to calculate the speed is the distance divided by the time. So first of all, what is the distance traveled during this part of the journey? Well, we are traveling seven kilometers. If we go along here to this point, it's halfway between six and eight, so this is seven kilometers. Now, what is the time taken? Well, we're setting off here, which is 9.05, and we're arriving here, which is 9.35. So it's just taken half an hour. If we're going from 9.05 to 9.35, that is a total time of half an hour. So we have traveled seven kilometers in half an hour, but we want to write our speed in kilometers per hour, so we just need to times both numbers by two. So this is going to be 14 kilometers per one hour, or we could just say 14 kilometers per hour. Okay, so now let's look at part B of the journey. So the total distance, well, the distance is exactly the same. We're just coming back. So we're starting seven kilometers from home and we're coming all the way back home. So that is a total distance of seven kilometers. 
and now we need to work out how long it's taken to travel those seven kilometers. Well, we're setting off at 9.45 and we're arriving at 10.05. Now this is a total time of 20 minutes. So our speed is seven kilometers per 20 minutes, but we don't like to write it like that. We like to write it in kilometers per hour. So to get to one hour, we can just multiply by three. So this is gonna be 21 kilometers per one hour, which we can just write as 21 kilometers per hour. Okay, let's just do one more because it is so much fun. So again, pause the video and see if you can work out the speeds of these different parts of the journeys yourself. And then let's go through it together. Okay, so let's go through part A first. So firstly, the distance Well, we're traveling 10 kilometers and the time it's taken is half an hour. So 10 kilometers in half an hour, that's gonna be 20 kilometers per hour. And now part B. So the distance for part B, we're setting off 10 kilometers from home and we're going up to 20 kilometers, which is a further 10 kilometers. And now the time, well, each of these squares is 10 minutes, 9.30, 9.40, 9.50, 10 o'clock. So if each of these squares is 10 minutes, then this time is 20 minutes. So just like the previous scenario, we wanted it in kilometers per hour. At the moment, we've got it in kilometers per 20 minutes. But to get that into hours, we need to multiply by three. So this is gonna be 30 kilometers per hour. And now the last part, part C, well, we're going all the way back home. So that's a total distance of 20 kilometers. And the time it's taken, well, we're setting off at 10.30 and we're arriving home at this point here, which is 11.20. So that is a total time of 50 minutes from 10.30 to 11.20 is 50 minutes. So 20 kilometers in 50 minutes. Well, firstly, we can work out how far we've traveled in 10 minutes. We can just divide by five. So 20 divided by five is four. So this is gonna be four kilometers in 10 minutes. And now we can put it in kilometers per hour. So we need to multiply this by six to get it in hours. So four times six is 24. So the speed for the last part of the journey was 24 kilometers per hour. Now if we just look at these speeds, they do make sense. So the quickest speed we were traveling is 30 kilometers per hour, which is the blue section. And that makes sense because it is the steepest line. It has the steepest gradient. And this has the shallowest gradient, which means that we're traveling the slowest, which we are, we're traveling 20 kilometers per hour. So hopefully this video gave you a bit more practice with calculating speed using a distance time graph. And remember, speed is always positive. So even though we're going backwards, back home, the speed is still positive. I'll see you in the next video.